Can you believe that this advanced delivery system has been introduced in the medical field as a pre-medication to spinal anesthesia and for delivering insulin to diabetic patients over 75 years ago? I am extremely surprised that all of us, including myself, were totally unaware of this. Hi, I am Dr. Rohit Khatavkar and today I will be sharing my views about Injex, the needleless local anesthetic delivery system. So let's have a look at what are the advantages of Injex. So because it's absolutely needleless, the patient acceptance is very good. It's absolutely pain free. There is no risk of needle stick injuries to the operator or auxiliary staff. It's absolutely quick, painless and efficient because the anesthesia is delivered in low doses. So it's safe, especially for pediatric patients. The numbness lasts for a short duration. So it's great for doing short dental procedures. So what dental procedures can you perform with the Injex local anesthetic delivery system? Short dental procedures such as restorative procedures, extractions in pediatric patients, Periodontic procedures such as gingival curettage, soft tissue excision with lasers or with an electrocautery, crown preparations in vital teeth, as well as some endodontic procedures can be performed very easily. So you can use this system in adults to anesthetize the maxillary premolar teeth as well as the anteriors. In the mandible, you can anesthetize the mandibular anterior teeth. For the rest of the oral cavity, you can use the inject system as a pre-medication prior to using needle-based injection systems. For pediatric patients, the entire oral cavity can be anesthetized with just this one delivery system. In this system, we need to deliver the local anesthetic solution at 90 degrees to the attached gingiva. Unlike our conventional techniques with needle-based anesthesia where we inject in the sulcus to the corresponding tooth, the injector is placed at 90 degrees to the soft tissue or the tooth and the anesthesia is delivered at 0.3 ml at that region. The inject delivers local anesthetic submucosally down to the periosteum which leads to a more rapid diffusion and a quicker rise to effective concentration. So numbness is achieved more quickly, usually in 30 seconds to about a minute. Let's have a look at the five components that make up the Inject delivery system. This is an adapter which fits on the local anesthetic vial. The same can be used on top of a cartridge. This is the ampule which delivers 0.3 cc of local anesthetic solution by pulling the piston out and loading the solution inside. The end of the ampule has a very small micro opening of 0.18 millimeters. So that's what makes the delivery of the solution pain free and it's a needleless system. The top of this ampule has a safety cap which is made of silicone and both these are available in a pre-sterile blister pack. These need to be used as disposable equipments and need to be discarded after using for a single patient. So let's have a look at how the ampule is filled with the local anesthetic solution. The adapter cap is opened up and we rotate the ampule, screw the ampule inside clockwise till it's secure and firm. We pull the piston or the plunger slowly outwards to avoid any air bubbles or air entrapment in the ampule. Once we have loaded this with 0.3 ml, we will untwist this cap, remove out any air bubbles if there are and then place the silicone cap over this ampule. We are now ready with our ampule loaded with local anesthetic solution. This is the reset box which has to be used each and every time we use the Injex delivery system. There is a small black plunger which is right in the center of the box. So when we are opening the box, it has to be fully open before the injector is placed inside. This is the injector of the Injex delivery system which has one end which is a black end and the other one is a steel end. When we are placing this inside, 
we have to make sure that the safety is on and the black end is going to go towards the plunger and make sure that the entire Inject delivery system is completely seated in the reset box. With a slight amount of pressure, we will completely close the box. This activates the injector. Once we open this box, it has to be completely open. And now our injector is loaded and activated to start with our anesthetic delivery. Once we take the ampule which is loaded with our anesthetic solution, we will place it in the black end of the injector and screw this in clockwise till it is firmly seated inside with minimal pressure. Then we will move the safety to off and now with the press of this plunger, we will be able to deliver the local anesthetic solution from this small micro opening on the other end of the ampule. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please let me know your thoughts and doubts regarding the system and write down in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. Have a nice day. Thank you.